In this class, when we take sines and cosines and other trig functions, we'll always assume that the argument is being measured in radians rather than degrees. So let's remind ourselves of what that means. We'll start with the unit circle. So the circle centered at the origin with radius one. This is the point one comma zero. And we have a number V. This is a little informal, but I hope it's clear. Starting at this point, walk V units, so a distance of V around the unit circle. And you can walk either clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on whether V is positive or negative. If V is positive, counterclockwise. If V is negative, clockwise. So let's say V is one. You start here and you travel a distance of one unit around the unit circle. If you look at your starting points and your ending points, and you connect them both to the origin, you create an angle. And that angle is V radians. In this case, V equals one. Probably rather than this definition, which you of course certainly should know, most people think of radians in a rather simpler way, just in terms of the circle and in terms of degrees. Two pi radians in a circle, that's 360 degrees. Pi radians in a line, 180 degrees. And pi over two radians in a right angle. 90 degrees.